Hey guys, Costum here. So today a little bit of a different video. I'm going to be doing a full face video, um, whereas, you know, different to the normal PowerPoint presentation. I'll see how it goes. If you guys like it, let me know. I'll probably be doing more of this if it works well. So getting into the video though, uh, today what we're, what we're going to be talking about is working in your agency versus on your agency. So what do I mean by that? Working in your agency would be something like, you know, doing grunt work, building actual links, um, doing lead generation, finding, you know, emails of business owners to cold email, things like that. Doing the actual on page for your clients, all that stuff is working in your business, your fulfilling work, all of that. So working on your business would be scaling it, you know, actually closing clients, um, things of that nature would be working on your business. You're trying to grow your business. So things that grow your business, the like more higher level stuff would be working on your business. So the problem I see is, you know, people that are stuck at three, four, five clients because they're just working on their business. They don't have time, especially when they get to that roundabout five client mark, they don't have time to work on their business. They're stuck working in their business because as a lot of you guys know who have clients, working on a project individually because each client is one individual project, working on five different projects at the same time can be very time consuming um, because you have to you know get yourself set up with that project, look up the sheet, look up whatever Trello board, whatever you're on, then you have to go and order a link or build your own link, all that type of stuff. So what I want to talk to you guys about is when to actually start to offload that work. So when do you want to start hiring VAs? When do you want to start to use services for content writing for your clients, for link building for your clients, on page even for your clients, stuff like that. So, you know, as you guys know, a lot of you guys know and use us, we build links, we have PBN services and we have you know, guest posting services. So a lot of you guys come to us at Digital Gladiator and you, you're buying our links. So I have had a lot of conversations with you guys about this, um, but for you guys who don't know it and haven't yet offloaded work, it's a pretty easy process. So once you decide to start doing this, you just have to find a good service uh, whether that be for content writing or link building or find a good site or service to find a VA, Upwork would be a good one, onlinejobs.ph would be a good one, especially if you want to find a project manager, I would re really recommend onlinejobs.ph. They do have like a monthly fee, um, 50 bucks, but you just pay that, you get a ton of applications, get them on Skype or whatever your you know, messaging app is, and then you don't have to pay for it after that, you just find a bunch of qualified people and you talk to them there, only pay for a month. So if you don't have 50 bucks to offload, I don't know what to say, but also Upwork is free, so try them out. Um, but anyway, so, you know, you wanna start to offload it. I would recommend around that three to five client mark is when you want to start offloading some work because like I said, you have five different clients, five different projects, that's a lot of work to do you want to start offloading some of that so you can still scale up. So you can get to that six, seven, eight, ten 10 client mark and beyond. Even though, you know, a lot of people I talk to about this, they worry like, Hey, I don't want my profits to go down. But the thing is, and what a lot of them don't realize is if you have five clients and your profit margin is say, let's say 80%, right? You're making, and let's say a thousand dollars a month is a average for each of those clients. So you're making 5,000 a month, 80% of that, 4,000 a month in profit, right? But let's say you start working on your agency more and you offload some work, your profit margins go down to 60%, right? And I know a lot of guys who are still higher than that, but let's just say 60%. So you're working on your agency, now you have more time to get clients. So let's say you get to 10 clients with a 60% profit margin you're making $6,000 a month if each of those clients is paying you $1,000, right? 10 clients, $1,000, $10,000, 60% of that, 6,000. So you just went, you doubled your clientele and you just got 2,000 a month more in profit just from working on your agency and scaling 
because you have the time to do that and you have less work day to day on the actual like grunt work so you're working less in your agency and just working on it guys so i would you know highly recommend you once you get to that three to five client mark start to you know maybe get your first va maybe start offloading links or start finding find a good content writing service you don't have to actually write content i would actually recommend for content get that taken care of immediately like if you have to like write an article for each of your clients you can get a good content writer for like five dollars for like a 300 word article or 10 bucks for a good 500 word article something of that nature like they're super cheap and affordable and you'll get good work so content writing would be like the first thing that i would outsource to someone else um but even link building like building your own pbn network these days especially when you have like five to ten clients it doesn't it doesn't make sense and actually would be more expensive than you know just paying per link for someone um to to do it for you and to have a high quality network because they need to be tested and all that stuff um so Anyway, guys, let me know if you have any comments or questions on this subject. Just comment below or ask in the Facebook group. Make sure you're in the Facebook group, guys. Like, seriously, if you're not in it already, what are you doing? Get in there. Um, but that's going to be it for the video, and I'll see you in the next one.